yeah, I'm doing my book reading, and this is my book, Handbook for Hot Witches. It's for um, hot witches. I uh, draw comics. I've been doing a comic book called Meat Cake for a long time. And I put some little comics in this book as well, just because, you know, I love the medium. Sequential arts is a lot of fun, and drawing illustrations and stuff like that. I'm gonna read The Hot Witch Little Mermaid. You'll become seafoam. Looks like that. All that looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> I know that first love is a strong thing, and they say the deepest cut is the first cut. I would rather have a temporarily broken heart than lose my precious daughter altogether. When she introduced him to her father, he approved, saying, I'm glad you found someone who appreciates and supports you for who you are. Thank you. Thank you. So now we're moving on to, you know, what really matters. Money. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very simple but effective spell. My wallet is always full spell. We're going to start with love potion number nine. Combine one spoonful of each of these seven types of leaves. So this is um, the recipe, recipe for the raw ice cream sundae. And it's basically a raw food recipe for ice cream without sugar, milk, or any of the other stuff that makes um, that makes ice cream fattening or bad for um, you. Here's some Mystic's Witch Holidays. The witching hour is the midnight between these two days when Halloween shifts to All Saints Day. This is a time when the barriers between the world of the real and that of the surreal are thin. Thus, it is the best evening to practice magic and divine the future that the new, new year will bring. Once Halloween is coming up, um, I put some funny stuff to do at a Halloween party and um, when I was a kid we had a lot of fun doing this stuff. The magic mirror. How many lucky breaks will you get this year? You can find out on the full moon closest to Halloween. Um, here's some fun Day of the Dead party food. Oh and by the way I really love Day of the Dead. It's a really great time because as women we are kind of disassociated and not connected to our ancestors. And Day of the Dead is really all about connecting to your ancestors and celebrating all the people that have gone before you. On Dia de los Muertos, say a prayer to your ancestors and light a candle in their honor. Right? I'm just gonna read the Mexican hot chocolate too, just cause it's really fun. Mexican hot chocolate with vanilla and chile. The grainy texture of Mexican hot chocolate comes from toasted ground cocoa beans, granulated sugar, and cinnamon. Yeah, I have my own deck of tarot cards. Um, they are mermaid tarot cards. <laughs> and I put in here how to read uh, tarot with a pack of just regular cards, in case you're in jail or... <laughs> I don't know what else. In case you can't get to a metaphysical store. I don't know. It still enables you to be able to read cards. Um, does anybody else have any other questions? Um, for your palm reading section, do you, what if you have lines on your hands that you don't identify? Does that something to be worried about? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, like those aren't shown in the book? Right. Well, I would say, let's look at that for a moment. This is the basic like lines that you're talking about. The heart line, the life line, the mind, those kinds of things. However, um, a lot of times when people have like a lot of lines all over their hands, it just shows that they are old souls and that they've been here before and that those lines show previous existence, previous work, previous lives, and so it's just showed up again on your palm this time. Basically, if you really like something and you're passionate about it, um, I believe it is your destiny. And I believe that the fates will put things into your life to be able to create that for you and to create that for you to happen. Thanks for coming today. Thanks, guys. Oh, yes, definitely.
Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Have a great day. You too. Bye.